what does this man have cooked up his sleeve? And of course, it is some witches. Good luck, Mr. Eric. 19 sneakies, six witches. He's got to sneak them in somehow, right? My question is, Eric getting a three star? Creative with any army, right? Just like me, just using a normal Lalo. It's good enough to get a three star. Us content creators, we will take whatever can come our way. <laughs> As he's got 11 more sneakies to send into the storages to help secure these. Eventually going to try to get to the town hall. Eric, you got a couple more sneakies. There you go. Storage is going down. One more sneaky in the town hall. Okay, no bombs. But the invis does go off. Two minutes 23 left. We have to think about time now. Here's a bunch more sneakies. Get ready for the invis. Boom, invis is down. Protects them. Town hall is secured here. And he's going to go all the way across. Here we go. There's Eric's witches. Let's see. With the ice golem. Into the multi, the golem, the king, the queen, warden, everything. Headhunters. Get ready for the log launcher as well. No witches down into this section with his heroes. His witches are going to be running around the outside edge. He can't easily reach that multi. There's the log launcher being delayed here. Taking out this multi target inferno. Finds a tornado trap, but his witches have evaporated on the bottom side they are gone the mortars are actually crushing them on the top side so he's losing every single witch but he's also got bats to come in here as he wants to clear this core more skeletons rock loons a lava hound pops that warden ability does he protect the king yes i believe it did as a log launcher actually activated the invisibility spell again with the royal champion coming around to the bottom side we have the scatters on both sides still up the Hound pops. King comes back alive. The Monolith. There's the Bass now on the left. We've got the Wizard Tower waiting for him. Get ready for the freeze. The freeze. Oh, he does freeze up that con entire compartment here. As the Bat... He needs to freeze again. Then he does. Freezes one more time. Wizard Tower goes down. And the Invis. It's coming back. The Bats are running around. RC is following right underneath. Trying to take out that Monolith. Freezes the Ground Expo. The Monolith becomes invisible. Uh-oh. The bats are disappearing. Pops Queen ability. Hey, you know, not too bad. Scatter goes down, but he did lose all those witches. Very nice try, Mr. Eric. And if those witch if he had something other than witches, maybe, you know? Who knows? Could have had a chance. Could have. Just needed something on the outside to run over there. All giant bombs to the bottom down there. That monolith just did not want to go down. Of course, that CC did not help Mr. Eric. Very nice, my friend. And there it is. 81% to start this one off. All right, not bad. With the 18 super barbarians. And 41 minions. Wait a second. He's got a some sort of queen church into super barb. Minions. Hello? Okay. As we've got the Ice Golem, Super Barbarian, right on the top here. Right to the left with that King. Wall breaks his way in. Ice Golem goes off. And the Queen's going to make her way to the bottom side. Get ready for this King and get lured over to the enemy Royal Champion. The healers are now down onto his Queen here. The King is making his way left. Go CRC. Finds the tornado trap. Uh-oh. This king is not getting any of the value he wanted. And double super miners coming out of here. Not able to grab the scatter. Not able to grab the enemy RC. And now he invests a freeze as well. So that tornado trap was huge for Tricky on defense and his queen's ability. Uh-oh. The super miners. Oh, no. Wait a second. He drops the poison spell. They're going to explode right next to the queen. But he keeps them alive with the rage. Or keeps the queen alive under rage with the healers. But that king got almost no value. He really just pulled out that clan castle, really, at the end of the day. As now Dima's trying to charge this queen in towards the town hall. Tricky's base is tricky. You know, that's why his name is Tricky. As the queen grabbing... Oh, no. Really? Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Really, queen? 
You're going for that wall and not the town hall? There's an opening for the town hall! Oh my. Okay. What is he doing? He's got a flame flinger to try to secure the town hall now at the moment. But there is an invisibility spell waiting for him. Queen is now looping her way to take out the enemy RC with a couple super barbs to the left. Freezing the ground expo. Freezing the grand warden altar. Queen's getting locked down by the eagle. Down goes the wizard tower. But that town hall. He sends a couple super barbs to activate it. Uh-oh, but the... Tesla pops and the oh no the Tesla is in rage it's hitting the flame flinger the queen's ability is forced everything's going wrong the flame flinger is about to open some of these walls did open as well rocket loons going off not even activating the invis queen's going down he's only got 46 seconds oh now he's now he's got to figure out how he's he got he's got super minions inside of this flame flinger he drops a handful of minions he's got the warden uh oh there's the invis. It does go off. Now it's a matter of saving the town hall for the second star as he reaches 50%. Uh-oh. He's got the RC. He should be able to do it, right? He freezes again. What is he doing? He sends the RC in. He's got only 19 seconds. He pops the ability. The invis is coming back. Come on. He's not going for it. He doesn't have any more super barbs. Oh, no. Oh, no. RC freeze again. Seven seconds. Oh, my. He's he didn't drop the super barb into the town hall. He didn't even pop the RC ability in time. No way. A one star against Tricky. Oh my, oh my. As he's got rocket loons and he's doing an RC charge into the left side. No healer charge, no warden charge, warden walk. It's an RC charge. With the healer's honor, taking out the enemy RC under the rage. Remember, the healers do have to get pretty close to keep this RC alive. So they will potentially get hit by other things. But this RC is jumping walls. Raging her up again. The double rage for the RC. Taking out the scatter. Wizard Tower's going down. And clearing this whole left side here. Look at, look at this RC go. She's going to eventually pull... Oh, he's got the recall. He's going to pull the CC. He's going to recall her. Oh, he does, but he misses the healers. Uh-oh. What's the plan? Oh, no. Okay, he drops the baby dragon to the top side. You got to drop a hero to move that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He drops the wizard up top to try to pull the CC up there. There's the queen. Now the headhunters are going to come... Okay, there's the poison. And the healers transfer off to this queen. But the eagle is activated. Oh, boy. Hopefully the eagle does not lock onto these healers. The hound does pop. Baby dragon trying to clear. The eagle locks onto the baby dragon. The king log launcher coming in. The log launcher can help activate the town or activate the town hall, but also activate the invisibility spell early. And it does get activated. The queen needs to continue her way through. Don't get pulled to the RC platform. Super giants trying to help with some tanking. He's got the RC, the recall, the re to send in with the RC. Oh, he sent her over to the right side. Still has her ability. Ha drops the Warden. Freezes the Town Hall. The Invis. RC's ability goes off. Pops the Warden Eternal Tome. Through the Town Hall explosion. Rocket Loons come out. King still got his ability. Rocket Loons to the left side. Eight more making his way around. But that Eagle is still up. He's got an Invis. The RC died off. Drops the Rage for this Queen. But there's no wall breaks into the core. Towards that eagle. Uh-oh. He's got a rage. The queen and warded and king are all coming around. They're looping together around. How does he plan to get into the core of the space? There's a rage. Defensive rage goes off. Queen's got her ability. I mean, it's a good plan for running around the base. I don't know. I'm trying to... S curious what was supposed to go into the core to help clear that. It's in the 70s, but they are going to have the lead because of the one star. So you never know what's going to happen in this match. All you got to do is just survive your opponent. And that is what Eric and Tricky are doing at the moment with 79%. Two star there as ND is going to be up next. ND is bringing himself the super archers and eight healers here. 
with that queen to start off by the wizard tower and we're gonna drop in a couple balloons to start onto the cannon to the left pulls a double seeking air mine queen's gonna take out both these air defenses here she's gonna walk her way down most likely gonna be my guess not to point oh he's gonna go wall wrecker for the town hall here probably okay he recalls that queen wall wrecker is gonna secure the town hall with the sneaky goblins healers are down on the queen now out comes valkyries tricky put a valks inside of this cc drops a poison spell but luckily he was able to luckily andy was able to pull that cc out early drops a rage for his queen Ooh. Can, can do quite a bit of damage if you're not ready for it. But if it was like hogs or some sort of cease attack and he wasn't ready for those Valks, that could have been nasty. But he clears him as the queen's going to continue her way towards the eagle. So has three more healers to use. Will he be using the healers on the super archers in their push through the core? There's the golem and king queen is getting raged up. Down clear. And eventually make her way to the eagle artillery. And there's the healers on the super archers on the top side of the space. The queen clears the, ooh, clears the expo, pulls the poison, taking out the eagle as the king, super archers, warden, everything. The healers toward the top side. Oh boy, the scatter shot. That queen though, her ability is forced. Giant bomb going to the defending king. There is a rage. Get ready for the warden eternal tome protects everything. As he's still hanging on to the art to the king ability, as a super archer is reaching over that wall to grab that scatter shot, as he's trying to clear the core of this base, now finally pops the king ability, takes out the monolith. Now, now the super archers, oh, some of them go down trying to take out that multi. As the RC is running through the bottom side of this base, the healers are getting hit by the double multi target infernos. RC ability goes off, skips through some of these Teslas. But the super archers have faded away right there. The big difference. If he popped that king ability. And then the warden to protect all the kings and the barbs. Would that have made the difference? I think that would have been a huge difference. Because the barbarians could have tanked a lot more of the defenses. Through the warden eternal tome. Very nice try. Was well, looking really good. But it only falls short. Boy. Eric has got 20 rocket loons, 10 lightning spells, and some super barbarians. You know, his first tech had to include some sort of witches. It was probably a rule that he's given himself. Like, if he doesn't bring witches, you know, he can't he can't be Eric anymore, right? As we got the invis right behind this town hall, he's gonna go lightning to remove the eagle and both multi-target infernos right in the core of the space. Oh, okay, good luck. As we're finding some tassels that have pop. Ooh, a whole tassel farm. Looks to be right next to this queen. Was he trying to take out a scatter shot maybe with some rocket loons? No, or at least setting funnel sends the king into there and the warden. Okay. The king is gonna loop his way back and No! King is not going to the queen section. This could be a problem. Warden's getting targeted. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Mayday. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Um, King is going up to the single target in front. He's getting locked down. The Warden's ability is going to be forced. Oh, no. Warden's ability is forced here. King's going down fast. Oh, no. Things are happening. Oh, no. Eric. Eric, hang on. Oh, no. The Tornado Traps is right there as well. He pulls that. Oh, no, Eric. Uh-oh. Um, the one funneling mistake was not able to get that King into the scatter shot. The Rockaloons do take out the single target Inferno. Ro defending Rockaloons and a Hound comes out of here. Drops a poison spell early. Has more Rockaloons to come around. He's still... Oh, he switched... Oh, he went from a battle drill to a blimp. He's, he is going into Mayday here, guys. He is now going to have to try to save a two-star. He has to grab this town hall somehow. Uh oh, there is an Invis next to the town hall too, guys. <laughs> Hang on. The Queen's ability goes off. Can he save? Is he going to just answer with a one star? Give the one star back. Oh my, I don't know what this war's turned into. But he's hanging on. Rockaloons are around 48%. The RC drops a skeleton. Doesn't do anything. It misses. He sends a blimp in early. But there's... The oh no! 
He says the blip in, but the abyss goes off. Goblins. More goblins. And sneakies. Yes. The sneakies will. Wait. Yes. They lock out of the town hall. And Eric at least secures the two star. So it was sneakies inside of that blimp. So maybe he was going, planning to go blimp the whole time. He just had a battle just selected. Oh, man. Oh, nice try, Eric. You wanted to pop warning ability to protect that king, potentially. But look at all those giant bombs. Whew. A lot of giant bombs over there. As another two star. So Dima's got some pressure. As Dima's got a three star to bring this back. And if Tricky, no matter what, triples. That means ND would have to triple as well. And anything can happen. Only the 76% too. And he's bringing in 10 healers in the mix with some Valkyries. Hmm. Okay. We've got that queen off to the right. Dropping five of the 10 healers. To help clear this right side section. Wants to now send the Warden Walk to the top side at 12. As the queen is continuing her way in. Will she walk out to the cannon? Wait for it. Wait, wait, she does. Does she come back? Rages her up. Uh-oh, she doesn't come back. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> what is, okay. He's got a flame flowing over the town hall at this point. Um, guys, where's this queen gonna go? He sends the king by himself towards the eagle. The queen freezes the scatter in the archer tower. The queen under rage again to try to keep her ability intact. I gotta zoom all the way out to see everything that is happening. The enemy, oh, his queen's ability is gonna be forced. Takes out the enemy RC. Warden's clearing skeletons. King's going for the eagle. Flame Flinger is trying to get to the town hall. But the ground expo there was quite annoying. He recalls the queen, but her... Oh, no! Oracle's going to go for the Flame Flinger! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. What is happening? What is happening? The Flame Flinger opens. Oh, my. It is not going to be able to secure the town hall. As Yetis are going to... Okay, he's going to rage and freeze it. He's relying on one Yeti. And Yeti might to go for it. And no, they don't. He can send the RC, but oh my. That queen is just not helping Dima here today. As the king... Oh, wait. Oh, there's the recalled queen to the bottom side. The town hall is even getting healed up. Rage is the warden up to try to heal him back up to full. The hound pops, and he's still got six Valks. He's got a couple more wall breaks for this queen here. She's going to walk around. Oh, uh, what's the plan? He's not wall breaking this queen. There's the wall break now. There's another wall break. To it's going to go to the town hall compartment. Uh-oh. RC's ability is forced. Doesn't even pop the warden internal tone yet. The queen is going to make her way to the town hall. But she's going to go down. Hello? Wait. She comes back alive with the phoenix, actually. But the healers transfer off. There's the Valks into the town hall. Ice Golem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Warden. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. That Warden almost missed the Valkyries. He'll at least secure the two-star, right? Oh, no. Not Dima's day here today. As he does secure the two-star. So, pressure is on Tricky here. If he triples, he can win the war straight up in the war in the regular match here but remember there's always a judge voting at the end of the day which can influence the outcome of these matches as it's only going to be a 70 percent 72 grabbing every nope 73 every building matters nice try dima tricky has got 10 healers as well with some super archers okay Starting off with that Warden Walk, he's also doing a Queen Charge. So double Hero Walk slash Charges into the space. Helping to clear the air defense. Straight up. Down it goes. Rages up this Queen. And he's got the Frosty with the Queen. What? That's an interesting uh, cho pet choice there for the Queen. Taking that down. No Unicorn. No recall as he's got eight super archers to utilize as the flame flinger is looking to clear this left side over there. Be careful for Tesla's as the queen is now locking onto the defending king with a headhunter. The eagle went to go follow some balloons. What? What kind of eagle follows the balloons there? Okay. I mean, that's good for Tricky. 
as the Warden's continuing, taking out the Ground Expo, raging up. Now it locks onto the Warden, but the Archer Tower locks onto a healer here, losing them. Sending a few more. Oh, 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 that Queen. Oh, her ability's gonna be forced. Don't no! I was gonna be like, don't lose the Queen through ability because the Grand Warden Altar is there. Uh oh, guys. Um, here comes the King. He's going down. Oh my goodness. Hang on. The Warden's ability is forced as well. <laughs> what is happening? He's going to have to drop a jump to make his way to the core. There's a tornado trap in his path as well. Wait a second. This town Wait. Um, guys. There's a town hall that's quite a ways away. Um, I don't think this town hall might be going down, my friends. The king's going to run to the multi. He's going to have to somehow get the RC to path her way into it. There's the... Oh, okay. He drops an invis, freezes. He wants the king to take out the town hall. Oh, the king! Luckily, the king was able to help go for it with the invis to reroute him there. That was huge. That was clutch to get that king to secure the town hall because remember, there's no phoenix on the king. He's got the yak on the king, so he would not have come back alive. Oof. As the wizard going for that spell factory doesn't take it down, drops a minion to try to take it down. Wizard as well. Yes, secures it as it's in the 60s. So it's coming down to ND here to try to clutch it up for his team. What are we waiting on? Nothing there as it's only a 61% for Tricky. To tie this match up and he's got super miners with a queen charge recall it looks to be. Pulling a red air bomb. That double arch tower did quite a bit of damage. Couple super barbarians first funneling. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's the healers. Okay, ah, he wanted to wait for that air defense to go down. And now raging up this queen because that's a lot. Headhunter. Ooh, that's a lot of damage on this queen here. Taking out the king. Will the queen make her way into the town hall? Drops a balloon onto the builder hut. Oh, doesn't go down. Is he going to drop another one? Oh, no. Queen's not going in. The multi's hitting the healers. Oh, no. Guys, what is happening? Pulling a sinking I Pulls the queen back now. Okay. There's a blimp into the eagle. There's the queen. Okay. So he drops the queen. She wasn't going to be meant for the town hall. Raged up the yetis. Does pull out the ice golem CC. That's huge here. Enemy queen. Enemy queen. Enemy queen. Freeze. Oh, just in time. Poison rage. And there it is. Ice golems are coming over to his queen. Multitasking here. As the eagle has been secured, doesn't have to worry about any eagle shots. Going to clear the CC so super miners don't have to worry about it. Balloon's trying to take out the archer tower and they take it down next to that multi up top. Continuing this queen charge into the scatter shot. And there's the super miners with the warden to go into the town hall. King is going to be responsible for the scatter shot over there. Forces the queen ability, has a couple freezes. He has a rage. He rages up the town hall, near the town hall. King's going into the enemy RC with skeletons popping. His queen's going down. Freezing that invisibility spell next to the town hall. Pops the warden. Freezes the multi and the grand warden altar. Oh, down goes the queen. Warden and the super miners actually become invisible from the defensive invis. He's still making his way around with that king dying off. RC's coming through. The phoenix going down to the air defense. Where's the super miners in the core? They're dying off. They're gone. They vaporized. The super miners have disappeared. Where did they go? Oh no. Well, hang on here. 69%, 70. And my friends, it's gonna come down to the judge voting in this one. But Eric and Tricky will have a one star advantage. Oh my, 71% two star. Eric and Tricky win the war in the game here, eight to seven with a percent of 74.2 to a 72.2. So now let's find out what the judges have decided. Ile pole, nano.